Hey guys, it's Charlene. Thanks so much for joining me today. I want to show you a really fun card using some products from PhotoPlay, say it with stamps. First, I'm going to be using that Dots cover plate, and then I have this super cute Hey Cupcake stamp set along with the coordinating dies. And I'm going to show you some fun tips and tricks for using your hot foil machine. So hang out around for that. But first I want to show you, I'm going to come in and I'm going to ink blend a panel and I'm using the new saltwater taffy distress oxide from Tim Holtz. And this is a really fun color. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but once I actually have it in person, I really do like it. I think it's a very pretty color and it blends really Really well with all kinds of different colors here I'm blending it into abandoned coral and I'm going for kind of a sweet pink blend so I'm just blending the two colors together I put down first my saltwater taffy then the abandoned coral and then I kind of just went back and forth so we're gonna get into some hot foiling here and so I'm cutting a piece of foil and I use my sliding trimmer for that. It works really, really well. And then I'm going to cut it out with that dots cover plate. Now to do that, you definitely want to put a piece of cardstock underneath. Otherwise it's not going to work very well for you. Ask me how I know, <laughs> but you just put it on a piece of cardstock and run it through your die cutting machine. I usually go back and forth just so I can make sure I get a really solid cut through there. And then you're just going to be very careful when you peel off the excess foil. So you're going to see I'm going to peel off all the way around the edges there, just going carefully to make sure I don't rip the foil because it is very fragile. Um, but it is so fun because you can use pretty much any of your dies. A little bit of the more detailed dies don't work too well, but the dies with the bigger spaces, they work really well and it opens up all kinds of possibilities. You do need a, a solid hot foil plate like the one I'm using here. And I'm gonna heat that up and I'm gonna put my ink blended piece of cardstock on top. And then once the timer's done, I'm gonna go ahead and run it through my die cut machine. Now I'm not having you wait through the entire process of the timer or while it heats up through the magic of video editing, I have cut those parts out. But certainly if you are new to hot foiling, there are just tons of videos out there that are going to show you the steps you should take for the hot foiling. So once I have run that through, because this is a little bit bigger of a die cut of the foil, I have to do it twice. So that's a little tip for you. You can do it twice. You can use your slimline dies. You can use your mini slimline dies and you just do it once and then you put it right back on there and put the part that isn't adhered and you do it again twice and run it through your die cutting machine and you can get a full solid hot foil piece put onto your cardstock by doing it twice. It's really fun. It opens up a lot of different possibilities for using the glimmer and I really like it. So there you can see it is all adhered down. Now it does leave a few little nicks and things like that because you are running it through twice. I tend to get a little bit of a line, but it's really not noticeable, especially once you have all of your little elements on the card. Make sure once you're all done that you peel off the pla top plastic coating like you saw me do there. Now I'm coming in with the Hey Cupcake stamp set. This is a really cute set. I love that it has this little glass dome dish that you can put your cupcake in or, or whatever other things you wanna use from the set. I'm gonna go ahead and mask off the bottom of this because I want it to be just one layer, but you could separately stamp the cupcake and die cut that and then add it on. But I wanted it to look like this cupcake was underneath some green glass. I think it looks really cool when it's done. You guys will have to let me know what you think down in the comments. So I put my little piece of post-it tape down there to mask it. And then you can see I went ahead and colored the whole image off screen. And I used that pretty green alcohol marker color um, in two shades to create a little bit of a, a vintage glass feel, I felt like. There are all kinds of little fun things to add to the top of your cupcakes. Here I was using some little sprinkles that were on a stamp and I just stamped them with some Versamark embossing ink and then I covered it with some silver embossing powder from Ranger. So I'm just heating that up with my heat gun and you can see now I have those fun little sprinkles all over the cupcakes. Once that's done, I can go ahead and die cut out that whole image and then start working on the other elements of the card. 
So for my sentiment, I thought this sentiment was really cute. So I'm going to stamp it here in some black pigment ink because I feel like it needed to be really bold. So it says, happy birthday, my sweet friend. And then I'm going to die cut it using a piece from the build a window die set. So if you're interested in anything that I'm talking about today, I will link down below to all the products that I'm using. And also feel free to leave a question in the comments or just leave a comment saying hi. I like to say hi to everybody and let me know if you enjoyed the video. So here what I'm doing is I'm marking a tiny little margin around that die cut because I'm going to cut out a piece of plain white cardstock and I'm going to create my own colored border for my sentiment because I really wanted it to match the rest of the card and the coloring that I did. So I'm cutting that piece down and then I'm just going to come right in with my Copic markers, the same green that I used on that green glass and I'm going to color all the way around the edge on that piece of paper. Then when I mount my piece on there, it's going to look really nice. It's going to have that pretty green border all the way around and it's going to look like it matches the rest of the card. This is a really fun way to create borders. You can do this also on your card panels. You could use just a piece of white cardstock that's cut to the same size as your card to create a border around whatever you're doing. It's easy and um, fairly inexpensive to do. So I encourage you to try it out. It's fun. Once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to come in and I'm going to stamp this cute little flag piece. There's all kinds of different little pieces that you can add to your cupcake. Um, there's like a little star wand and a couple of different things. So it's really cute set. And then I'm going to go ahead and off camera, I color them in to match the colors of the cupcake. And then I use this little sweet die cut to cut out the piece. It gets all the little inset pieces out so it just looks tiny and cute and I love little pieces like this. I think they just look adorable on a card. So once I get that all done I'm going to go ahead and use some liquid adhesive and I'm going to adhere that down on top of the cupcake so it looks like these cute little celebration flags are sticking out of the top of the cupcake there and you could pop this up with some really thin cut foam tape if you wanted to, but I felt like that was going to be a little bit too much work, <laughs> to be honest with you. So I went ahead and just glued it directly, and I think it looks great. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and add these little swirly confetti looking pieces from the set, and I'm going to put that on my sentiment because I wanted to add a little bit more to it. And so I'm just stamping the piece on the bottom right hand corner and then I'm going to flip it around and stamp it on the top left hand corner. I feel like it's confetti but it also makes kind of a vintagey um, sign look to it so it kind of goes with the vintage green glass and it sort of goes along with the rest of the feeling of the card I feel like. So once that's done I'm adhering it down to that colored piece that I did so that I have that green border behind there and off camera I did cut out with the die cut that matches that um, pretty glass dome, I cut out a piece of craft foam. I'm going to adhere my element here to that piece of craft foam using some liquid adhesive and then I will use some liquid adhesive to adhere the whole thing to the front of my card. It's really fun because you have these pretty like pinks and peaches peeking out from behind the foil and then you have your cute little pink frosted cupcake on top with the green glass and the sentiment that ties in with it as well. I think this card is adorable and anybody who is in your life that needs a little sweet pick-me-up, I mean like how cute would this be to send with a actual cupcake or with a little box of goodies to your friend on their birthday. I think it's lovely. All right, once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and glue my card panel down to the card base. And I actually decided to do that before I adhered the sentiment piece to the card because I wasn't quite sure where I wanted to place it. And I thought, you know what, let me get it on that card base so I can see how everything looks and then decide where it should all go. And I did go ahead again and I'm just using a piece of craft foam here. I'm adhering it with liquid adhesive and then I can trim off the excess just using my scissors. I don't need to 
do anything special to cut it out, it's really easy to do it like this if you're looking for a way to pop up your elements on your card. You also could use foam tape or foam squares, whatever you have. It doesn't have to be craft foam. I just tend to use that frequently because it's easy to die cut, but there's all kinds of different things you can use. Um, I really like some sheets that I have that have adhesive backing on them as well because I can die cut those and then the adhesive's already on them, which is really fun and easy. It makes it such an easy process. Okay, you can see I repeated the same process for the sentiment that I wanted to put inside the card. So I went ahead and I stamped it, cut it out, and then I cut another piece of white cardstock and did the coloring in the green marker. And then I adhered that on the inside of my card. Now what you guys didn't see is I did that because I had a little boo-boo where I went to stamp on the inside of the card and I messed up. So easy peasy, you can cover it up. All right, guys, here's my finished card. I hope you like it. On the inside there, there's that sweet little sentiment. I love how this turned out, and I love that you can get more use out of your hot foil by using that solid hot foil plate and using your dice. All right, guys, I hope you find some time to get crafty today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this, please do like and subscribe as well as hit that notification bell so I can continue bringing you crafty content in the future. Until next time, happy crafting.